Listen, ladies, broads, I will not use the F word. I will not say female. If you hear a man use the words logic, reasoning, critical thinking, hypocritical, that is not your man. That is an LSF Redditor who cares more about his karma love Hassan. and the relationship. You are not dating a man. You are dating a Redditor and possibly a Ben Shapiro fan. Run away. Okay. Nice guy gives women dating advice. Welcome back to... My name is Chad Chad. Here for the brain rot. And dating people is hard. It can be difficult to find somebody who fits your requirements. For example, just a couple of mine are... My girlfriend doesn't like you very much. Why? Badge. Why is that? 23%, baby. 23% have to have green eyes has to have black hair has to wear a green and black cat suit with a utility pouch on the lower left leg has to be dr draken's assistant you know just personal preferences but some people can take it a little too far and their preferences become a little nitpicky a and sometimes hypocritical something that has the ability to feed people's tendencies to do that is quite often dating apps or dating websites just because it becomes so easy to write people off just based off of one quick glance at their profile and we don't want that to happen to us so in order to use dating apps more effectively we will be watching this video today that'll just help us understand what to avoid when creating our dating profiles and what guys really don't like to see on there and assuming this video helps which i'm sure it will and you land a couple irl dates that you need to prepare for you're in luck because this video is sponsored by adam and eve this year That's is actually a monumental birthday for adam and eve they are celebrating what adam and eve more like adam and eve right baby today, and let's get videos hey thank you mom one day so i'm gonna go with that dante and i have some things in common oh. actually well really only one thing and it's the reasoning and behind it. why he made this video no, and why i'm making this this video on his video it makes no sense it makes no sense maybe i can point out the flaws with some of these things maybe i can point out the flaws with some of these things yeah. maybe the women will see this maybe the dante will see this and they'll realize man i'm doing something wrong here and realize man i'm doing something wrong I'm sorry i'm late to the stream Mo I was if watching there is if you're doing dating advice section i can't believe i'm about to do this myself but if you're like if you're doing dating advice personally as a man and that dating advice revolves around what women should be doing. Unless it's a woman directly asking you the male perspective. Okay. And let's be real. No woman has ever asked this man for honest perspective. Okay. The only thing women ask that man is to stay the fuck away. Please. You are creeping me. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if it's just like a dude telling women what to do. When a woman has not asked. Like for the male perspective in that situation. It's going to be bad. It's going to be really fucking bad, okay? Shut up, man. <laughs> okay. It's over. I'm no longer talking for the rest of the show. That guy wanted me to shut up on my own stream. Let's get to with some of these things. Maybe I can point out the flaws with some of these things. Maybe the women will see this. Maybe the Dante will see this. And they'll realize, man, I'm doing something wrong here. And realize, man, I'm doing something wrong here. If I change this or maybe change the way I think, they'll realize... Oh, Here's how to get a good guy. If I change these or change the way I think, they'll realize here's how you get a good girlfriend. The one I'm reading right now, uh, they're looking for a partner in crime. <laughs> it, it made me think a lot of women are attracted to like bad boys, like people who break the law. People who break. Women love criminals. That's why I always tell you to feel content. You know what I'm saying? Doing crime, baby. Hassle, hassle. Hot. It's sexy. Women love bad boys, right? Part of the reason why I do that, part of the reason why I do crimes is because I love uh, it, attracting women by being a criminal. The law? I don't necessarily think that this woman's profile was implying that she wants to date a literal criminal. She probably just meant that she's looking for someone who will go to Target with her at 10.30 p.m. on a Tuesday to buy face masks. And not that she is actively seeking out a bank robber. So what do you do for a living? Oh, uh... It's kind of cool, though. Like, bank robberies? Like, nobody does them anymore, you know what I mean? It's like... This is the part where I just... <laughs> we really do need to bring back bank robberies. Am I crazy about this? Am I wrong for this? I'm gonna thank you very much. Like, bank robbers are, they're, 
that's an honest way to make a living. Okay. Any bayas pain about you, man? Bank robbers are objectively cool. Uh, tax evasion. Oh my god, no way. Yeah. And I also dabble in some vandalism on the side. That is so f***ing hot. Like they put themselves in that situation and the girls are attracted to it. They say they want good guys, but they go after the bad ones. It also made me think like, seems like, I mean, this is probably why there's few females in the construction industry. There were so many red flags in just those two sentences. First of all, females. Can we just, can we not do that? It's very telling if you refer to women almost exclusively as females. Also saying that women want good guys but only ever go after bad guys just has the nice guy really. mentality written all over it. Yeah, I don't get it. Like I am so nice to females. Like I am so respectful of those bitches. I do not think they're smart enough to choose someone good to date. I think they're really stupid, but I, I don't get it. Yes, people. Most of you don't know this, and you'll be surprised to find out, but referring to women almost exclusively as females is a bit of a red flag. Even I say it sometimes, because it's just common vernacular, but almost a year. it's just like a little dehumanizing. And women are conditioned into knowing that that is definitely a red flag. You're like a non-human animal almost. Why won't we be? Just say women. Broads. Okay? Say broads! <laughs> That's why I always say broads, ladies and broads. And this is probably why there's few females in the construction industry. Chicks. Like, because uh, guys seem to build and women want to destroy. Oh, this is why there are so few women in construction. Because Oh my Lord, Jordan Peterson just jumped out on me, on my face right there with that one. That is just such a Jordanian Petersonian thought right there. God damn, bro. I swear to God. I mean... He didn't trademark that shit, obviously, because it's like no conservative has ever had an original today. thought in their entire lives. He's just basically hitting the same notes that every other conservative dumbass has ever said. It's just like textbook misogyny. But, you know, that's why he was popular, not because he was saying new things. Let's go. But because he was saying things that men like that wanted to hear. Females just want to destroy. Has nothing to do with the fact that it's a male dominated field within which women are often made uncomfortable and treated horribly compared to their male co workers. <laughs> nay, nay. It's because women want to <laughs> destroy things. Hey, boss, great news. We just wrapped up construction on the new Burger King. Oh, that's great, Jeremy. And we're ahead of schedule. <laughs> Rebecca, what are you doing? Stupid female brain, not know how to build. Only know to destroy. Rebecca, please. Please stop, Rebecca. Rebecca, we can't keep rebuilding Burger King. Probably why the typical guy is the one who gets down on one knee. And then at the same time, it's the women who are typically the ones that get hand them papers and to say sign here men create and women destroy they just want to watch the world burn jesus dude um, i would say I homie is absolutely a victim of divorce body. court the powerful divorce court energy coming out of this dude's mouth unmatched perhaps he needs a woman you know with the destruction perk unlocked to destroy divorce court that's what he needs who hurt you but I think we all know. I am sorry that you had an experience, obviously, where your heart got broken, but lots of people get their heart broken and they don't turn into a misogynist. Another thing on here, there's one question on here. It was, it like, I had to make myself breathe because I thought it was so funny. The, uh, the height, like a, another hypocrisy where it says, how tall do you want your partner to be? And mine is like, I don't, I don't like short girls. So you don't like women. You don't like short women. You don't like women who have high preferences. Truth, truth. You don't like women in construction. Are we sure you like women? And they have no problem saying they don't want to date guys under six feet tall. And I'm six two, so I'm there. However, even I have difficulty finding someone to actually just go out with or just to talk to. Well, that makes no sense. I can't imagine why women. There it is. Fellas, if you're under six foot, remember, homies over six foot are still fucking up. Okay? Why? Because it's not about your height. Okay? Sure, being 6'2 probably helps. Okay? Certainly. But also, remember that, like, that's not the uh, solution. Okay? That's not like, Seven oh, months. yeah, magically, you're 6'2, all of a sudden, you're just, you know, swimming in it. 
easier for says the tall guy i'm just saying yes i acknowledge that it's easier i acknowledge that it's easier shut up shut up you short no, i'm just kidding okay you're short kings if you're in here you're a short king shut up shorties know your place you're in the presence of a tall okay but all jokes aside we need hyla klein on chat by some time all jokes aside all jokes aside you can still fuck up as a 6'2 guy because your personality is dog shit. Baby, and you are automatically assuming that women are like against you constantly. You have decided that women are a particular way. And uh, the way you see the world kind of dehumanizes women. Hassel. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume that the way you operate around women, it comes out. It comes out in the way you carry yourself in conversations, and they don't want to be around you. Hope you get canceled for right, heightism. Good luck, Amazon baby. Not, not on LSF. So now I am <laughs> even more Hassan Good luck, dude. I ain't on LSF, motherfucker. What's going to happen? I got freedom. I can say whatever the f I want, dude. Anyway, someone in the chat said, imagine being 5'11", and all I can say to that is, there, are, there is no one that is 5'11", okay? There is only six foot. Remember that. There is no such thing as a five foot eleven man. Okay, that's not a real concept. Get that shit out of your head right now. No one in the history of mankind has ever been five eleven. It's made up. It's a social construct. Yes, it is completely made up. You're six foot, and if you're five ten, that means you're probably five eight. Okay, Sunday, you're five eight, and you say you're five ten. If you're 5'11", you're already six foot. That's not a thing. No one exists in that universe. There is no such thing as a 5'11 person. All right, let's keep going. Women don't want to have a conversation with you. That's weird. Women want to destroy. It's just difficult talking to them. I mean, that, that's a whole other story. It's really not. Here's a simple way to start a conversation with a woman, okay? Hello, I really like your jacket in this picture. It's super cute. Thank you. I got it at Target. Oh my God, I love Target. I could get lost in there for hours. I am looking for a partner in crime who will go to Target with me any time of the day. I think I can help with that. <laughs> Here is an example of how not to start a conversation with a woman. Greetings, dumb, stupid female. I am decently fond of that jacket you happen to be wearing. Thank you. I got it at Target. Did you destroy the Target? I'm sorry. I bet you threw a big old block of C4 behind you as you left. I did not. Typical female. They simply lack... I feel like this isn't about me anymore. They destroy everything in their way. Okay. Obviously, this is a meme, but like... This is not supposed to be productive. This is more so like humorous satire. What is this? I was reading this book. Jordan Peterson describes woman, women's hottest sexual fantasy. Oh, that's fucking. Oh, that's great. Let's keep going. Specifically stated that I will only date someone who's at least five seven. I'm giving them somewhat a, a leeway. Leeway? That's leeway. That's I am five foot seven. I don't know if that's considered tall, but I do know that I'm tall Thank enough for my unjust. grandma to comment on it every time she sees me and complain whenever I wear heels. The average height for women in the U.S. is five foot four. So you actually also have a tall height preference, which there's nothing wrong with that, unless you just said in basically the same breath that you don't like women who have a tall oh. height preference. Most of the ones that I message, and sometimes I even mention that fact, and that they don't respond, and it's like. What's the point? I don't know, Dante. Maybe one of their personal preferences is for guys that don't have rooms missing a third of its walls. The majority of y'all, honestly, <laughs> y'all are hypocrites. That's I fucked up, but so true. Oh, no. Wow. She's being classes. I see a lot of girls who are like five foot four, and you, you still don't want to, you, you're looking for someone taller but you're being a hypocrite about it, it but you don't want to date anyone about that's under six feet like they have to be at least six feet tall and it's just very hypocritical and illogical did the woman was too stunned to speak did you just call women hypocrites for having a tall height preference dante dante it's the same thing dante and it's just very hypocritical but he has a tall height preference i don't understand this man has <laughs> instead of engaging in a little bit of you know growth caused by a little bit of self-reflection homie just decided like it's it's society that's the problem it's women that's the problem i as a man i'm allowed to have a 
height preference, but women, women are not. And illogical. And I don't like that. Yeah, and you just said that you don't want to date anyone under 5'6". Five, 5'7 five, is the minimum. 5'6, you would date somebody 5'6, but that's probably it. 5'6 and under, like, I got no problem dating you. Also, it's kind of weird that... Do fellas have a height preference? I feel like usually you just don't want, some, uh, like, a woman to be taller than you. In most circumstances, but, like, I ain't got no height preference. Like, I've literally never been like, yo, that's, you know, that, that person is too short. I do not I give chat. a f at all. I have, uh rarely met women that are taller than me but i could be into it I, I feel like it'd be a little be a little weird but you know maybe try it out i'd get on that ride you know what i'm saying him. i'm i'm basically just talking about vampire mommy that's pretty much it vampire mommy is who i'm thinking about you know resident so evil village vampire mommy anyway let's like keep going PC. but it's i mean that's probably all it's gonna be so five six is not wifey material girls are like five foot four but you don't want to date anyone under six feet that's an eight inch difference right if a woman is five four and wants to date someone who's at least six foot that's that's an eight inch difference you are six foot two and your height preference is at least five foot seven so that's one two three four five six seven seven inch difference in height so you basically have the same exact height preference that you just gave as an example and it's just very That's hypocritical and illogical the only difference is you are the tall one it's the same thing Dante. it's the same fucking thing would much rather be with someone who's like half decent but intelligent and thinks for themselves. Well, that doesn't exactly seem accurate. I just want a woman who can think for herself as long as she agrees with everything I say and thinks exactly like me. I do not like hypocrites. That's my favorite word to use. I love pointing out hypocrites. Hey, me too. More like the silent majority, the ones who don't. Bro, this homie is straight up just, he, his, the Reddit energy is just permeating through every orifice, okay? I just hate hypocrites. It's like, dude, no, you don't. Like, first of all, you yourself are hypocritical. Listen, ladies, broads, I will not use the F word. I will not say female. If you hear a man use the words logic, reasoning, critical thinking, hypocritical, that is not your man. That is an LSF Redditor who cares more about his karma I love Hassan. and the relationship. You are not dating a man. You are dating a redditor and possibly a ben shapiro fan run away okay run the fuck away don't look back this man in probably in approximately a couple months is going to become a crypto bro as well okay you do not want that in your life hassan has been hurt what <laughs> by what these rock. guys love community yeah, and love you totally hot okay this man is going diamond hands he's going to start saying stuff like I'm going ape mode. Ape together strong. Thanks a lot for watching. I love Wall Street Bet. I love you on H3. I love Elon Musk. Inevitably, this dude is going to become an ANCAP and call himself an ANCAP and settle with an Asian wife. Okay? That is what is that I'm reading the tea leaves right now. Please. Okay, this is a it's libertarian insane. guy with an Asian wife. Okay, that is happening. He doesn't know it's happening to him. He doesn't know why he feels this way. Plus but that's what's going to happen, okay? 90 Day Fiance. I have pre-watched his life. Let's keep going. Don't speak up for themselves, the ones who have trouble with that. So that's kind of like why I'm starting these videos. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for speaking up on behalf of six foot two men who don't want to date women that are shorter than five seven, who think women are assholes, who don't know how to think for themselves and want to destroy the world. Those kinds of people really have trouble making their voices heard. I don't like that. Okay, so that's the end of this video. It is now time to take what we've learned and use it to create the ultimate dating profile to maximize our chances of finding the perfect man. Short Hello, my All name is Chad Chad, but not really. And I am seeking a partner who is any height. I have absolutely no preference whatsoever. <laughs> I am six foot one and currently work in construction. It was very difficult to teach myself not to go wreck it Ralph on every building within a five mile radius. But with some perseverance and thinking for myself, I persevered perseveringly. I am extremely intelligent 
but not too intelligent. I am logical and I do not condone crime in any way and am looking for a partner in strictly legal activities. If I am what you're looking for, please send me correspondence via carrier pigeon because apparently some of us still reside in the 17th century. Yours, hopefully, Chad Chad. I'm gonna call it there, guys. Thank you for subscribing, and Probably if you are still here, thank you so much for watching. I'm writing to her right now. Um, the woman just say that too, if you're charming, most women don't care. It's like when guys say they want a big titty goth girlfriend and then motherfuckers melt like butter when they see a kind, small titty nerd. Okay, now that we heard from a woman, ew, yuck, let's hear about okay, women is amazing. from a man, very cool, definitely knows more than a woman, okay? It's Jordan Peterson hour. Jordan Peterson describes women's hottest sexual fantasy. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>